Okay, so this is a display I got from IC Station. Now I am using the Adafruit code, so they prefer if you buy their displays, but that's up to you. And I got it for $12, and it just hooks into the Arduino, and everything works just fine. So I'll show you a little uh, spreadsheet I made showing you how to connect this display to the Arduino. And, all right, this is the back of the display. So here we can see some labels, and then there are pins below that. So this top label here is this pin here, and the bottom label is the pin below that. So you just go along and use those labels to identify those pins. Now I'll show you the spreadsheet connection. Now this is for SPI4 wire because that's the mode that it is already set in right here. All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the connection spreadsheet. These are the Arduino pins here, and then these would be the display pins. So the labels for each pin would be connected together. So let's go ahead and do that. And I just put this here so it's easier for me to connect them slash you can see what connections are being made because I'm going to be using the same color code. Alright, so there they are. They're all connected. It's only seven pins you need to connect and the voltage in the ground, I wouldn't really count because they're so straightforward. Now, on the Arduino itself, you can see that's pretty straightforward. We just have the ground, voltage, and a pin connected to pin 13, 12, 11, 10, and 9. So that's really easy to connect. All right, now let's test the display and see if it works. So I'll just connect power, and here we go. As you can see, it's working just fine. Now I'll show you how you can get this program loaded onto your Arduino and the libraries required. Okay, so this is where you would download the sketch and the libraries required to use the OLED display. Now this is for the SSD 1306. And you can see a link for this website in the description below. All right, now you just go here and you click download zip. And you go ahead and save that file. So once saved, you just go ahead and go to your downloads or however you do this. I'm not sure how Chrome works. Anyway, so here we are. Here's what's inside the zip. So you want to take that entire folder here and extract it to your libraries folder within your Arduino folder. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that. And I want to choose where I extract that too. So for me, it's under username, my documents, uh, Arduino, and you may need to make this folder. It's called libraries, so you may need to make that. Anyway, you click there, and you say OK. And you say OK again, and you've just made yourself a folder inside libraries called Adafruit underscore SSD 1306 slash master. Now you're going to want to delete master from that file name or folder name. So let's just go to that folder. Okay, so here we are and we want to go to the libraries folder. And here's the folder I just made, right? It still has dash master on it. I've already downloaded this folder and removed the dash master, so it's already set up there in a library. In addition to the first library I showed you, you're also going to need to get the GFX library as well. So I'll put a link in for this one as well, and so you would just download in the same manner you did the first one. 
and you just extract that to the same location. Okay, so now let's just go to that folder. So we would go to libraries, and we're going to need to change this one's name as well. So you want to get rid of that master, change that to an underscore, change that one to an underscore. Actually, let's just go to library entirely. So it's just add a fruit underscore capital G capital F capital X. So just hit enter. So now all I have to do is open up the Arduino program. And that shouldn't be too hard to find. So it's complaining about that folder I just made, so I can't use that unless I remove that dash master. Anyway, so here we are. Now all you need to do is you go to examples, and you just go over here, and you would go to this Adafruit SSD 1306. And then you would choose what you want to use. There, so there's the I2C, the SPI. This is for a smaller resolution than the one I'm using. So we don't want to open that one. So we would want to choose the one that is appropriate for the one I'm using. So this one right here. So here it is. Now they would like you to leave this section in the code if you choose to send it off to somebody else or whatever the case may be and they would like you to leave the splash screen in place so don't remove that and don't remove this okay so all you need to do now is just upload this to your arduino and then connect it to the pins as i showed you and you'll be good to go all right so if you want to purchase this display it's available on icstation.com and you would just enter this id number which is 2,792. Now this I will put a link in for at the bottom of this video so you can go ahead and click that link and you'll get to this web page. So you can go ahead and order this if you wish. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful in setting up your display.